Hello and welcome back. I am basically Hawkins and today I thought I'd just show you a quick and easy way to make your own cards and decks in Tabletop Simulator. I'm doing a real basic breakdown here and it will be specifically for the One Piece card game that I'll be making cards, but you can really use this method for any cards you want to make as long as they're, you know, within the shape or whatever the, the thing is. Uh, tabletop's a pretty customizable thing. So I'll just show you how to get into it. First, what you're going to want to do is click Create from the main menu and, uh, you know, make, uh, you know, we can say multiplayer for now if you want to have your friends and we'll we'll call the server, you know, like OPTCG or something. Uh, but this is really just to have a table to work on. Uh, and then we'll go to, uh, you know what, we'll just exit this. And then here you have a table, you know, maybe this isn't the table you like, so you can go to Tables under Objects and pop out a square. I like the square, so I'll use the square. So now to actually make a card in this uh, in this simulator, what you're gonna wanna what you're gonna wanna do is first have the image that you want on the front of the card and the image that you want to have on the back of the card downloaded and put in a folder somewhere. So for the One Piece card game, they're kind enough in the Discord to actually pull all of the leaks and any sort of visuals they can find. So you can just click on an image and then download that image and save that image. I've saved this Luffy card, so I'll be using that. And then I found a, a an image for the back of the card online that I just used a quick sniffing tool to grab an image of. So now that you've got the front and the back of it, image, what you're gonna wanna do is go to Objects up in the top, the second tab, go to Components, go to Cards, the third option here, and then go to Custom Card. And not click on it, but actually click and drag it on top of the table. And then this little screen will pop up. And then simply for the face, this is the front of the card, you're gonna to wanna to browse your local files. It took me right to my One Piece cards file. You wanna click your Luffy card in this case, and that's gonna be the front of the card. And then you're gonna to wanna to click for the same folder for the back of the card. You're gonna to wanna to click the card back. You know, you could really use any image you want for the back. I'm just using what's like the official image, but you could use whatever you want. Uh, as long as it's sort of a rectangle. Uh, it will get warped if it's not really in that specific system. So now you've got those for your front and back. You don't need it to be sideways because they are card images, so they are rectangular. Then when you click import, and hey, look at that. You got yourself a card, bop boop. And now with this card, you can, you know, flip it with, if you press F, you can flip it, or you can right click and do a uh, flip. But you know, you could just hover over it and press F to flip. You can do, uh, you can hover over and do Q and E to turn it. That's your card right there, hooray. So now let's make another card real quick just to do another example. Uh, you wanna click and drag custom card. We'll do face, we'll do the Dawn card. And then the Dawn cards will have a different back. So you wanna do card back, number two, the Dawn card back. I do, I like to save it in the cloud, doesn't really matter. Uh, save in the cloud and so then import again. And there you've got your Dawn card. Now you're thinking, wait, doesn't the deck have a lot of Dawn cards? Well, that's easy to fix. You just hover over it, control C, you know, copy, and then control V. And look, now there's a second. Boom, 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 boom. You do that nine times, you've got yourself 10 copies of the Dawn card. So now you've got a Dawn deck. And you know, in tabletop with a deck, you know, you can pull a card off the top, Turn it around, flip it, boop, up, up, and that's how you make, you know, multiples of a card. So for one more example here, I've brought out some, like a stack of cards. Now this is, obviously we don't even have 50 cards yet in the One Piece card game to, to make a deck out of, but let's take, for example, you know, here's a deck of, of cards, and you have all the copies of the cards you want to make a deck, like say if you wanted, you know, three copies of this chopper, you know, and you, and you control C and control V and, you know, you made three copies or whatever, but you, you finally have a deck of 50 cards that you like, and you want to save it so that you can use it whenever you want, even if it's not your simulation, so you don't have to do this every time you want to use a deck. You'll simply right-click over the whole deck once it's together, and then you'll click Save Object, boop, boop, and then you'll simply, you know, name, you know, RRR, I don't know, and then you save it, and now if you wanna pull that deck out again, you simply go to Objects, you go to Save Objects, and there's RRR right there. And so now you've got a save deck to use whenever you want to to play other people, uh, you know, to play whatever game you're playing. <laughs> 
And now just a couple uh, little quick tidbits, some things that'll make just playing games easier. Say, you, you know, you've just finished a game, you've got cards all over the place, whatever. There's a card over here and a card over there. And, you know, game's done and you want to uh, quickly get everything back together. What you can do is you can click and drag and highlight everything that goes in the same deck and then simply press the letter G and it all comes together back into the deck. That's a pretty easy way to, to clean up a game and, and, you know, get ready to start a new game. And that's about all we have for now. I thought I'd just make a quick little video to show you guys how to make uh, cards in this in the fledgling days of the One Piece card game. I'm sure as time goes on, people will have more sophisticated and simplified ways of doing this. But I thought, you know, if you really wanted to hop on tabletop and, and get a game started as quickly as you possibly could, you know, maybe this guide would be a little bit helpful. So, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all the stuff that people say, and have a good one.